again, if I look at the original problem, there's the center set of parentheses, and I notice that same set of parentheses squared. So if this guy is a blob, this guy is a blob squared. So I have blob squared minus 11 times the blob plus 24 equals zero. Visually, that's what I see. So it's the pattern, something squared minus 11 times something plus 24. It's a quadratic equation. My blob is going to be, yeah, x squared minus 2. And then I'm going to square that thing, x squared minus 2x squared. So this is going to turn into the blob squared minus 11 blob plus 24 equals 0. And it factors. So this is u minus 8, u minus 3 equals 0. So that u is 8, u is 3. And I'm going to bring this down here. My replacement is u is x squared minus 2x equals 8. x squared minus 2x equals 3. Now, I've got two quadratics. I turned something into a quadratic to solve it. And when I came out and I solved it, now it's coming back into a quadratic, which I have to solve uh, yeah. again. So that x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Everything to the same side, 0 on the other. And both of these factors. By the way, this is a very, very difficult problem if I were going to try to make one up. I could make one up so that one factored. The other one probably wouldn't. You'd have to use a quadratic formula on it. So what can I say? So you look for in books where you can find examples that somebody's already done, like this, x and x. Uh, this is 4 and 2 and minus and plus, so that x is 4, x is negative 2. So I pick 2 up out of there. This factors into x and x, 3 and 1, minus plus, so that x is 3, x is negative 1. Four answers. Again, the original problem had the no, no denominators, no radicals, so it was all real numbers, so that wasn't a, going to, that was going to be a problem. And then you can check your answers, of course, on your own. <laughs>